here we go. So guys, this is my Avenger. This is the Air Venturi Avenger N25. This is the next group review. Um, this is part one. And I've had this one for a little while. And if you guys didn't know this, this is one of my favorite budget um, small game hunting air rifles. It's super accurate, super light. I mean, super light to go run around the woods with. Um, yeah, the moderator does make it a little longer which I wouldn't take it with the moderator in the woods anyways but this is just in my backyard so I want to quiet it down just a little bit it's not a super loud gun we'll go through all that in part two and on it I have one of my favorite hunting optics this is from ATN this is a day slash night vision optic this is the smaller version the LTV they have the other ones like um, Excite 4k Pro which is a little larger and has a little bit more functions and everything um, but this is a smaller version for those of you who just want something simple, light, and small to go out and hunt, record your shots, the LTV is the way to go. Um, so I have this on here because this is one of my favorite small game hunting air rifles. And I've got my favorite hunting pellets, one of my favorite hunting pellets, the Hades. So, but this isn't the gun I'm going to be talking to you guys about. I'll be right back. Okay. Aesthetics. So the Air Venturi Avenger comes in 177, 22, and 25. It is a regulated PCP, and one of the cool things about this one is the regulator is externally adjustable. But before you make any adjustments, be sure to read the manual so you do it properly and don't mess anything up. Okay, let's grip it. It's shooting time, oh, it's shooting time. Get my air gun. quick I want to say thank you to Gateway to Air Guns for making this video possible. Go check them out guys www.gatewaytoairguns.org www.gatewaytoairguns.org Whoa this was black just a minute ago and now <laughs> that's pretty sweet looking. That's a sweet looking Avenger. Guys they have at Pyramid Air a build your own option where you can actually go and choose what color you want everything. You can choose a different color for the back of the stock to the forearm, um, the air cylinder, the shroud, the rail. You can choose whatever colors you like. This is the one that I built. This is available in black synthetic, wood, or even as a bullpup, or make it your own through Pyramid Air's website. Check it out, guys. Okay, really, now let's get on to the aesthetics. So this one right here in front of us has the blue titanium um, rear stock, as well as the forearm and the air cylinder. And then I chose tungsten for the barrel shroud and just to add a little bit of a girly touch for the optics rail, the accessory rail, and the side lever, I chose to use the crushed orchid. So, so I would love to add this to my collection. Of course, I'm the one that picked out the colors. It says me all over it. But good news is for you guys or you ladies, this is going to be the next Gateway to Air Guns giveaway. So make sure you go to gatewaytoairguns.com, not .org, .com, and check out the contest page. Keep up to date on it. We usually run something pretty regularly. We just did the Winchester 7045. That was a great giveaway. We should be announcing the winner of that one soon. This one, though, is the next one. So if you like it or you love it or you know somebody that would love it, make sure you get on there, enter the contest, and then go tell them to enter it too. Not sure when it's going to end, but it should be starting very, very soon. Before moving on any further, guys, I want to say a huge thank you to Pyramid Air for sending this to me to be a part of the GRIP program, but not only that, to also be a part of the Gateway to Air Guns giveaway. So if you guys like this gun, go enter the giveaway. If you want to build your own because maybe you don't like the colors I picked, Go to PyramidAir.com, go to the Build Your Own page, and build your own. So thank you, Pyramid Air. You guys, make sure you tell them thank you as well. All right, now on to the real aesthetics. From butt to muzzle, the total length is 42.75 inches, and the total weight is 6.4 pounds. 
Attached to its rubber butt pad is the synthetic stock with a fixed contoured cheek piece and a rear mounting point for a swivel stud or a sling mount. Next up is the trigger guard and the two-stage adjustable trigger. On the right side of the air rifle is the manual safety and the side lever cocking handle. In front of the cocking handle is the breech where you can load one of the two eight-shot mags included with this air rifle or the single shot tray. There are two gauges on this one. The one on the right side of the gun in front of the cocking handle and the breech is the regulator pressure gauge. The one on the left side is the air pressure gauge. Above the action is the weaver or dovetail rails. Yes, most mounts will work on this one. Then the 22.75 inch rifled and shrouded barrel is given more stability from a barrel band to secure the greatest accuracy and the shroud is threaded. Below the threaded shroud is the dust cap that covers the male quick disconnect fitting to fill the air cylinder to its max fill of 4,351 PSI or 300 bar. Below the air cylinder is the synthetic forearm with a pick accessories rail for a bipod, flashlight, or laser. Very last, but definitely not least, on the belly of the gun is the degassing screw and the regulator adjustment screw. Okay guys, that's it for aesthetics. Let's move on to operation. Safety, safety, safety. Be sure your safety is engaged. Choose an optic and mount it on the rail. And remember, this is a weaver or dovetail rail, so most mounts will fit. I chose to mount the Hawk Vantage 30 wide angle side focus illuminated reticle 4 to 16 by 50 on mine. And no guys, this is not part of the giveaway. So it's a PCP, let's fill it. Remove the dust cap and attach your fill source to the male fitting. Fill to the max of 300 bar, bleed the valve, detach your fill source from the fitting and replace the dust cap. To fill the eight shot mag, in this case, rotate the top cover clockwise, place the pellet in head first, Keeping your finger behind the hole, then turn the cover one hole at a time counterclockwise until full. Pull the side cocking lever back, insert the mag into the breech, push the cocking handle to the forward position, point the muzzle in a safe direction, disengage the safety, and pull the trigger. Alright guys, you know what time it is. Let's go take a few shots. I'm going to shoot the RX target systems targets and try to knock down the paddles. So here we go. Nice. Looks like that might have hit the very left edge of that one. And again. Okay, so I need to. There we go. Shoot, yeah. Sweet. Well. There's the first shots, guys, and it shoots pretty dang good, especially with these. Um, coming up, part two, more pellet testing, 50-yard um, accuracy, all the fun stuff, so be sure you join us for part two. I would like to take a moment to say thank you to Gateway to Airguns. Thank you all so much for making these videos possible. If you guys have not checked them out, you really, really should. If you're an air gunner, you like air guns, you like shooting, go check out www.gatewaytoairguns.org. There is something for every air gunner alive. I promise. Well guys, that's it for my grip part one of the Air Venturi Avenger. This one's in 25. Remember, it's available in other calibers. It's available in black synthetic, wood stock, even bullpup, or you can build your own. That's it guys. I'm Airgun Angie with Gateway to Airguns. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya. Audio. 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 Yo. Yo. Yo.